Blessings, 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 man. Hey, listen. Everybody that's tuning in to me right now, don't forget to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button for me. And remember, donate to the page, Cash Tab Being There, Charlie, man. Ah, oh, man. <laughs> I would listen to uh, DJ Vlad, man. He was talking about Asian Dog, right? Oh, uh, she had missed the interview and stuff like that. And I was just thinking to myself, I was like, that probably would have been her best bet. Because one thing about Vlad, I say this about Vlad. Vlad don't play when it comes to the interview stuff. Now, sometimes we get at Vlad for not being responsible. But as far as his craft, he wanted the goats at what he do. You know what I mean? Charlemagne, you know what I mean? People that really take it seriously what they do or whatever. You know what I'm saying? I just feel like he would have chewed her up in there. You know what I mean? Especially all the the things that she was doing with the King Von situation. And I know Vlad would have asked her all the tough questions. You know what I mean? Stuff about the NBA young boy stuff. He would have addressed everything. And I feel like, you know, his platform is so big that anything that get put up there and said the wrong way or this and that is going to blow up. So I feel like her team probably came to her was like, nah, <laughs> you don't want that Vlad smoke right now. You know what I'm saying? That's what I feel, man, 100%. I just feel like the timing of it all and you talking Vlad. Like Vlad, they got some of the gangsters people to tell some of the stories and all. You know what I mean? Like he done got them to <laughs> fold under pressure like some first 48. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, uh, that's probably what it was. You know what I'm saying? I seen Vlad coming off. <laughs> she ain't popping right there. She ain't got this and that. You know what I mean? She ain't really doing too good. Her best songs with King Von and all of that. <laughs> I'm like, Vlad Terrible Cook. <laughs> that nigga Vlad Terrible Cook. And I seen the uh, DJ Academic comments where he was talking a little bit about uh, Dirt uh, Blackball and um, Take 600. I mean, that, 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 we already know what happened with that. You know what I'm saying? I feel like the baby mama situation that, that Tate was talking about, put it all on social media. You know what I mean? He kind of like shot himself in the foot with it. You know what I'm saying? Because Dirk had a relationship with some of the biggest artists and some of the biggest um, companies that's out here right now. You know what I mean? Like I said before, a lot of people judge Dirk. They say like his numbers ain't really showing the connection. But like I say, it's still it's like a bond that's there. You know what I mean? But like I said before, when the taste says, honey, we know he ain't no rat, he ain't no snitch. He probably broke bro code, you know what I mean, if you want to say that, you know what I mean, by doing that. If they, you know what I mean, he said that was his man, they was cool at one point. You know what I mean, he broke bro code, you know what I'm saying, all the way. But like I said before, man, sometimes you got to let your talent speak louder than foolishness, you know what I mean? <laughs> that's that's all you can do at that point, you know what I mean? Like I said, going back and forth, tick for tack, it ain't even worth it. You know what I mean? But like I said, he said he's been humble long enough, you know what I'm saying? He got to speak his piece on the situation. But yeah, man, I seen that. I was like, yeah, I'm going to elaborate, talk a little bit about it. But that Asian doll, DJ Vlad thing, man, her team was smart because I don't think that would have been a good idea. <laughs> and not saying nothing bad about Vlad. I'm just saying Vlad going to get, like, Vlad going to go there. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He going to go there on that shit. I don't, I don't know what interviews. Every time I see an interview, that nigga go there. You know what I'm saying? Especially, there's a lot of questions that the people be trying to figure out because like when she was telling niggas that was uh, King Von last word, we really thought it was. We really thought that she had talked to him and this and that. Then the manager come out and say she saw him. She seen, first they said it was she seen something in a dream. Then they said uh, she had a spiritual person she was talking to. They were talking to the dead, and you know what I mean. It, it was like some back and forth with shit. And then it kind of like people, regular people, just kind of like left us like what like you know what i'm saying like it was like that because you know uh academics did his interview with the manager that was a pretty dope joint too but i just feel like <laughs> the asian dog thing that shit can go way left fucking with vlad because i'm telling you man all them tough questions that she trying to avoid they're gonna ask her. you know what i mean and then how you gonna what you gonna snap on vlad like you know what i'm saying like we gonna beat up vlad at the interview joint like you ain't gonna be able to do all that you gonna have to answer the question or just be looking crazy you know what I mean? I feel like his platform is so big, you know what I mean, that any wrong mistake wording or anything it make you look crazy. And I think that's what she was looking at, especially if Vlad was right about her numbers or whatever, you know what I'm saying? She ain't doing too good in music, you know what I mean? But like I said, it, like most of the artists you see, right, they get most of their money from shows and shit, you know what I mean? Being that we under the whoop, the whoop you know what I'm saying? A lot of people ain't been doing, they wasn't doing shows, but you know, they're getting their little shows in now. You know what I mean? Because like I said before, it's like, you got to think about it, man. You got the top got the top people. You got the Mega, the Stallions, the Cardi B's, the Nicki Minaj's. You know what I mean? Then you talking the, the guys. You got the NBA Young Boys. and You know what I mean? The, the Uzi Verts and stuff like that. 
to get yourself within the ranking, it, it, it just takes a certain polish and a certain creativity. One of the things that you start to notice about the game and what they're doing is they copying each other. It's like what made Wayne, that's why I always I praise Wayne. Now, I know Wayne does some stuff that we probably look like, oh, oh, you know what I'm saying? But when you forget all the political stuff, let's talk about just Wayne in general as an artist. The difference between Wayne, this is why I say nobody, absolutely no. Body can verse Little Wayne. No, I don't give a I don't give a kill who you name as a rapper. They will not beat Wayne. Period. Point blank. Period. Okay, now let's get to what I'm saying. The reason that you got a Wayne and you got regular artists, Wayne was had the ability to come from I'm not really a rapper to being one of the greatest rappers of all time. So really taking his craft seriously. To being able to do rock and roll records and pop records, big records. He's able to adapt to any situation. He's a chameleon, man. This guy is a, man, he will bleed the beat to death, man. Like, seriously. Like, Wayne had a movement that was so strong that I can't, I, I, like, I haven't seen nothing like it, man. Even 50 said it, man. Like, that cash money, young money thing, like Drake and Nicki and, like, the creativity that come from Wayne. Is what you don't see in the other artists. You just see copycat versions of Dirk, Young Thug. These guys just do the same thing they doing. That's why when you look at them now, their records don't really sell. Because think about the time when Thug, well, it was Future. Future was, he had got with Ciara and his records weren't really doing that good. He kind of, we thought Future was washed, right? He got away from Ciara. I guess that stress that came with that. And then his records stopped blowing back up. Before the end though. Remember the sound that came out, that sound, like they crying on the record, that, that new wave that came out. It was Thugs, it was Future, Thugs, and Rich Homie Crying. When they came out, it blew. You know what I'm saying? Because that was their sound. Like, they created a new sound. Then you had Dirt from Chicago. He been had that melody thing that he was doing with his, with his um stuff. You know what I mean? But like I said, it's the creativity to it. But everybody's trying to sound like Dirt, Thugs, and, and like, I think... When I listen to Lil Baby, you, you have a different melody sound to what they're doing. But once again, when you look at Lil Baby, big big artists, they're trying to still that. I really haven't seen a lot of guys that could do NBA Youngboy version of the melodies and stuff like that. That's why I say his creativity level is at a high peak because I haven't seen no young boy be able to do NBA Youngboy. I've seen, I seen a lot of niggas trying to be dirt. A lot of them trying to be dirt, thugs, future. I seen them truck copy that way. The baby, on uh, Lil Baby, I seen them copying that too. The baby though, I really haven't seen a lot of people copying this style, but I did see some people rapping just like him and all of that. But like I said before, the copycat individuals, now you got the pop smoke guy that's, that's running around. The pop smoke, that, that's another thing that drill. You know what I mean? Fabio, pop smoke, that different sound, man. That's what you need. And if you're going to come with the same thing, you ain't gonna make no you ain't gonna say nothing. You gotta come with something different. That's what that's what the game is about, is being different. You know what I mean? If you ain't gonna be, you could be some like think about it. NWA was so big because they was able to go outside the box. Like if that when they came with the same run DMC stuff, they were like, they like, nah, they copycats. They came with the gangster and they came with it. You know what I'm saying? It, it, it's all about creating a new wave, a new sound, a new beat, a new everything. The same thing. Think about when Chief Key first came out. Everybody was hearing that stuff. Like, damn, what the fuck? We ain't never heard no Chicago niggas coming like this. Like, what was that? What was that? We banging that shit. We like, okay. Okay. Chief Key, what's his name? Okay. We, we rocking when we hear the dirt. SD came. Ball out came. You know what I mean? Started hearing that new Chicago thing. You know what I mean? Fredo Santano came. Lil Reese came. And then you heard, you had the wave. They had the drill. They had that melody. They came with it. Now, when you're talking Asian doll and all these rest of the people, if they're not going to create a new wave, all they're going to be is a carbon copy of something else. If you listen to her and it sounds like Megan Thee Stallion or somebody else, I just don't think the number's going to be there. Like, if she start going on some melody and then, like, doing something completely different ain't nobody never seen before, it's going to blow. It's going to pop. She got the looks. You know what I mean? <laughs> she got the looks. She can do it. But like I said before, what ends up happening to the artist is, they are not getting creative. They getting too fucking high, smoking all day, just like nigga. When you go in the booth, when Wayne and the niggas go in the booth, they getting creative, nigga. 
They take that shit serious. Eminem, they get creative, nigga. They're not going in there about to keep making the same records over and over again. They got to get creative. You got to because it get boring to the consumer. If you think about it, if I'm already getting an NBA young boy record, I'm screaming NBA young boy already. Then what the fuck I'm going to go scream an unknown nigga that's sounding like NBA young boy? Like, why the fuck I'm going to do that? I'm going to, okay, dirt. I'm listening to dirt already. So why I'm going to go scream a nigga that sound like dirt? That's like me uh, uh, buying a pair of Jordans and a nigga selling fake Jordans. What you going to get? The, the real Jordans, nigga. Like, you know what? <laughs> I'll be saying you can't. That's what happened to the artist, the creativity side of it all. And like I said, I, I heard what Vlad was saying. I get it, I get it, I get it. But like I said before, Vlad, the nigga, the reason why they ain't going on the platform, they scared. <laughs> like, they, <laughs> I'll tell you, I can see that interview right now going way left. And that shit all over fucking shade room and academics. That shit every goddamn weird. I can see that interview going left. And that shit ain't going to be no Taraji P type thing because Vlad going to go there. We all know that Vlad going to go there. <laughs> He would ask the question we've been thinking about. Like, where, where you hear them voices from? Like, where you, how you hear him? Because when I heard that, when I seen it, the post and stuff, like, dang. She got, I didn't know that. And I was like, Vaughn was already gone. How the fuck she was having a conversation with him? And I'm like, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Then they put everybody like, what the fuck? What happened? What, what? She got a spiritual advisor. And I'm like, hold up. <laughs> this shit taking a way turn, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like, but like I said before, man, Vlad do that shit for real. You know what I'm saying? You got to give him his kudos and flowers right now because he do that. He do that interview shit for real. It ain't no Jazair. It ain't no joking out this bitch. That nigga do that shit for real. And like I said, I can see why the young lady afraid to go on that motherfucker. Cause Vlad gonna ask that shit. And you go to Charlemagne. Charlemagne gonna ask that shit. <laughs> it's going down. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? Like I say, I understand. Like Vlad ain't no. You don't just walk on Vlad platform <laughs> with some bullshit. He gonna. That's why Eminem ain't going on that bitch. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You ain't going on Vlad on this bullshit. Real niggas know what I'm talking about. You is not going on Vlad on some bullshit. Factual. Because Vlad going to get it up out you. You see what he did to Soldier Boy? They made a whole cartoon out there shit. <laughs> they made a whole cartoon out there, Janko. <laughs> I can't see Asian Doll on that bitch, man. That would have been an ugly look, man. I'm telling you. I, if I know my wisdom telling me that that young lady going there, you going to know stuff that you ain't know before. But also, it's going to make her look crazy as she's saying some shit that don't make sense to the public. And it, like I say, your record sales ain't selling now. That shit really ain't going to sell when you go on that shit. And, you know what I'm saying? Like, and, and, and you look buffoonery. Like, like you looking crazy. You know what I'm saying? But I think that's what the fear of the team was probably. You know what I mean? He probably said, nah, this may not be a good look right now. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Especially with all the stuff, the antics that's been going on that a lot of people feel like she was clout chasing. She had to uh, take her Instagram down and stuff. So, me as a, a, a real nigga, real guy, you know what I'm saying? I'm telling you, that's probably what it was. It's like, because they know Vlad do that shit for real. Yo, know, all niggas that do that shit, Vlad do that shit for real because he going to ask them questions, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? A lot of niggas be afraid to ask some questions. You know what I'm saying? They go to their neighborhoods and shit. Like, no, nah, Vlad said, come to my shit, nigga. <laughs> I'm done, though, man. I love y'all, man. Salute to Vlad, salute to all the guys out there doing the content thing, you know what I'm saying? Doing the interview thing, you know what I'm saying? I'm not, I'm, I'm next up, baby. You know what I'm saying? They're going to be talking about me and all, all around, you know what I'm saying? I'm out, baby. Love y'all.